there? What made Much so uh, so incredibly successful? Uh, well, it was uh, that we didn't have any money, and so yeah. instead of trying to razzle dazzle with money, we the, the emphasis was on personality. His personality, does, you know, that doesn't cost a lot, especially what they were paying. So the emphasis was on personalities, uh, authenticity, being real before authenticity was a term everybody overused. We uh, people could relate to us. Uh, you know, we weren't the uh, the uh, uh, prom king and queen. We were the uh, people that got shoved in lockers. So uh. we were the people. We were misfits in our own way. And uh, we had no pretensions, so we suited uh, Canadian sensibilities. Because Canadians are not ones to be, you know, uh, courted by uh, by fame and the allure and the mystique of fame. So we were just honest, and everything we did was in the moment. There was no there was no planning. So I think people got the sense that uh, we were uh, discovering what was going to happen at the same time that they were, and so people watched. I think not just for the music, but for the personalities, uh, for what we uh, said about the music, how we contextualized the music. You know, we we sort of brought the music was a bit of a canvas, but we worked from it. And that's why when uh, much music changed management and management said, oh, no, everybody's watching music videos on the Internet now. Uh, They don't want to watch us. Uh, They didn't understand that music videos weren't the only reason people watched much music. And so they went in directions that that were not uh, much music strengths. Let's put it that way. In other words, they started making crap. And uh, they they hated the audience. The new management hated the audience. Um, The uh, person in charge, there was a policy that came in saying our audience is stupid and they can't remember anything more than three months ago. So don't reference anything that happened more than three months ago. And I had just done a special called uh, Smart Ass, the Ed the Sock Report. It was supposed to be the start of a new series where we traced the history of hip hop music back to like the 16th century. And I said, we just did a documentary that went back to the 16th century and it had higher ratings than anything else that week. And they said, yeah, nobody's interested in that. I said, no, you, you didn't hear me. It had the highest ratings of the week. Yeah, nobody's interested in that. Okay, then. And then uh, the uh, person running the programming said to me, am I allowed to uh, use like mild four-letter words here? (laughs) Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, She said, our viewers are stupid and just want shit, so we're just going to give them shit. And you know what? She lived up to her commitment. 